Oh, there we go. PlayStation 2. Is that actually going to play the game, or is it just going to be like, Nope. Can't play this. Can't do it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, I finally get to give. <laughs> I finally get to play this game on a PS2. So I'm glad I'm recording this. Actually, wait, was the PS2 really out in March 2000? Hmm. Uh, continue without loading, because <laughs> I don't have a save file on this. Oh boy, yo, let, let's do it. Auto save, baby. Ah. Uh. A legend among video games. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, the PS2 is trying to help me. <laughs> Too bad it failed. It eventually realized, oh wait, he's serious. He is serious about this. Yo, once the game loads, I will actually uh, just let the music play for a little bit. So, uh... Yeah, well, well, wait for it to load. Yeah, this is a legend among Phoenix games. The the most legendary game. <laughs> yep, yeah, it totally is. Well, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I actually have 25 followers on Twitch. Like, I forgot to point that out before, but I'm just I'm really surprised at that that there are actually 25 people that actually want to watch me stream. But um. Well, granted, I'm sure it's like free people, but you know, <laughs> whatever. So, wait for this to load. <laughs> I'm still going to keep a straight face, like knowing that this game is actually running. Maybe it just takes a while to actually run the discs. I, I don't know. Like, it's either that or it's just the thing being crap. I, I, I don't know, but it's loading. I think the PS, I think the PS2's, you know, holding back on the loading because it's like, you really want to play this, you really want to play it. Well, too late because I already decided, yes. Yeah, JP twenty fifteen. You know it. Let's do it up. Oh. 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 Yo, I'm playing these Phoenix games. Games by Phoenix. And you know I don't like it. So they can do something my dick. I don't know. Are they trying to tell me? I don't know what those are. But a PS2 or who the is. C-P-T-D-C-B-T-T-T. Anyway, let's start. <laughs> I have no idea what I was going for there. But, uh. See what the options are. There's probably like two options. Let's see. We've got music and sound. Well, we're going to have to turn the music off. Because this game has the best music. Vibration. <laughs> let's do it. Start new game. Let's do it. Let's, let's experience this. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually kind of glad that I'm able to play this. Because I've been wanting to get a copy of this. But I just haven't seen one anywhere. Well... I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Oh, we got that nice sax solo coming. Well, okay, it's not really much of a solo, but uh. <laughs> JP is back again to do this for you. <laughs> Welcome to London Cap Challenge. <laughs> you know what's really weird? I'm actually going to London this weekend, and then something tells me it's not gonna be anything like this. Press X to accelerate. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Or of it being, you know, a driving game. <laughs> god. Oh god, these controls are awful. By the way... Oh. Okay, for a second I thought the uh, analog stick wasn't working, but I guess it is. It's just very delayed. R2 to check the map. While the sound runs in the background. But, uh... Oh, wait, I can't... Okay, so this is one of those games where you can't actually change the options of the game for some reason. Oh wow, that was, uh... <laughs> That's a, that's a great little bit of um, glitching going on right there. I can't tell if that's the PS2 or if it is actually the game. Go to Grosvenor Place. They couldn't even be bothered to capitalize the word place, so good job on that. I wonder if it's possible to go in the water. 
Like, knowing how glitchy this game is, I'm seeing it from, like, other videos and such. World of it is. Hurry up. Okay, thanks. <laughs> it's just keep, keep going, hurry up, the passenger is waiting. Hurry up, the passenger is waiting. Like, like, I love how the controls are so bad, this college probably. Just close the door, please. But, uh, I love how this car is so, like, it's so bad, it literally can't even go in a straight line. And, oh god. The game is literally just gonna keep going, hurry up, the passenger is waiting for you. Hurry up, the passenger is waiting for you. It's just, wait, actually. Because I know this guy is gonna be a spamming idiot. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna ban them just in case. Uh, to be honest, I probably should set the chat to, like, verify email or whatever. I'm not sure what the... I'm sure there's a setting to disable those people, because, you know. Because I, only I seem to get them. I get the feeling that there's, like, an option to, like, make them go away. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's, it's been ages since I've been to London, but I'm pretty certain it looks nothing like this. I'm pretty certain it doesn't have blue fog for a start. I also love the fact that the game is constantly saying, Hurry up, the passenger is waiting! Hurry up, the passenger is waiting! Just... Good job. Take me to the mall. The mall. Is that, is that supposed to be like, Paul Mall, I guess? Like a Monopoly? I don't know. I love the graphics. I also like the fact that the game is playing the exact same music they was just playing before. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, the music is like the only good thing about this game. So, where the hell am I driving? Like, this doesn't even look like a city, it just looks... It literally just feels like a bunch of buildings and roads that were cobbled together in five minutes. You know, like, I could make a more realistic city in SimCity 1. For like, you know, <laughs> uh, DOS. Oh, there was a Windows version. So let's have a look at my rating. Yay, I completed my task. Level, I got, I got a rating of three somehow, even though I've only done one mission. Now it's time to upgrade the car. Get to the garage. Okay, let's do it. So, I mean, seriously, what, what are these alleyways? Like, this doesn't even look like a city. I mean, it seriously doesn't. Like, and, and look just how blurry the, the floor textures are as well. What the hell. Oh, well, I guess I could just drive under that, so who really cares? Like, I could just drive through this. Carriages are not present on the map. Which, I guess is their way of saying we were too lazy to actually make a garage building that actually works. So we're just gonna, like, put some random spot on the map that you drive to, and you, like, do stuff. Hurry up. Like, what's the point of even having the garages if, you, if your car doesn't take damage? By the way, also notice how much more detailed my car is compared to everyone else. I'll just flip that one over. Look, seriously, look how detailed my car is compared to this van or this bus. You know, it's like. Incidentally, th this game, the controls in it are abysmal. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, I think literally the only thing about this that's even remotely London is, I suppose, the bridges. And, oh wow, <laughs> look at this menu. I don't think I've ever seen a menu this cheap. Let's see, engine, suspension, tires, transmissions, it costs, well, I'm gonna go for the engine. Actually, what are the, what are the cars? Oh, <laughs> crazy taxi. <laughs> yeah, this game is crazier than crazy taxi, but not in a good way. Hurry up, great. Look at this map. The craziest map. If your car wait, if your car got stuck, you can reset the car by by pressing select. I think that says pretty much everything you need to know about this game. You know, this game is so broken. We literally, we literally need a <laughs> we literally need a uh, button to get you out of situations where you get stuck. Like, look at this. See how this car is like stuck in the ground? So it's just amazing. Also, look how much detail my car is compared to the other ones. Like, 
My car is reflections. I mean, really bad reflections, but still. Crazy bus. <laughs> it's a feature. <laughs> oh. ah, I forgot about that. Okay, so where are the missions at? I don't see any missions. Oh, oh, oh. So there's the one down the. Okay, there is one down this road. So I guess you just look at the dots on the mode. This is... <laughs> Even this game is better than Crazy Bus. Well, it's technically a game, so I suppose, yeah, it is better. You can actually do stuff in this game, other than just... Okay, actually, is there a horn button? So, <laughs> I like how it just says, well done. I press... <laughs> I just press L2 and it just does that. So let's see what we've got. Oh. I like how the traffic is so bad it's not even moving. Which I suppose is accurate to London, but still. No, stop driving onto the curb. I'm not, like I'm literally not even like do anything with the analog stick and it just it literally just moves to the right on its own. It doesn't even make any sense. It's like if it's anywhere near the pavement it will gravitate onto it, which I suppose is kind of realistic in a sense, but still. You know, it, it shouldn't really be doing that in a video game, I don't think. Like you already get that in- whoa. <laughs> I just passed through that bus, that's amazing. Well, I guess I'm gonna beat this mission. Well, I guess my car got stuck because I can't move. Wait, Beverly Hills Cop is better than Crazy Bus- Eh, I wouldn't go that far. Beverly Hills Cop just pisses me off no end, it seriously does. <laughs> yeah, there are, there are no people in this game, like, According to this game, people do not exist. Like, this is like... This is like that film Cars, I think. Where it's like... There are no people in the world, they're just cars. So I guess... This game sure loves this music, but uh... Yeah. Okay, so... I think I know what to do. By the way, I can't be the only one that hears Doom 2 in this song. This seriously sounds like, if anyone remembers like the the second level of Doom Two, you know it's got that music here. The do 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 do. It sounds the same to me. And of course, you know that game came out what like twelve years before this, and that game actually looks better. And yeah, my customers are literally just like, they're just arrows. In fact, uh, let's see what happens when I get over here. Drive up here. Oh, That's great. Let's see what this is. Yeah, there's nothing there, unless maybe there's like a black piece of newspaper there or something like that. So now I have... <laughs> so now I have 255 pounds, which is great. So now I'm apparently... <laughs> so now apparently I'm above a green hole, but I'm not quite a poor apprentice. Whatever the hell that means. Like. Get out of my way! I'm a radical London cab driver. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? I have like 10 seconds to do this mission, what the hell? I like that, by the way. The game literally gave me like... Was, did I even get 10 seconds to do that mission? Like, I wasn't even paying attention. I was thinking, well, maybe, like, surely they'll give you at least like 30 seconds for each for each mission, regardless of how far it is. But nope. They're gonna give you 10 seconds to do this entire mission. Oh, well this one gives you 34. <laughs> Rule 34, crazy taxi humps a sign. London cap MLG. If I'm MLG at this game, then just kill me now. Okay. So I think the arrow is right here. No, 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 no. Dr let me drive onto the black dot. Yeah. So let's see how much money I have. So I guess the ones with more distance will give you more money, essentially. <laughs> I will say this: this is better than most of the the most of the budget crap that I've played. Because at least, at least playing it for ten minutes hasn't made me want to kill myself. Okay, what the hell? What the hell am I doing now? Uh, <laughs> I think this just sums up the whole game. Look at this. Just this is this is London. <laughs> yep, this is London. 
Just like the road just cuts off randomly. Like, yo, so like, I'm not even gonna do the missions. I'm just gonna drive around like an idiot. Oh wow! Look, look at that! Look at that boundary! Look at this! Look at that! Look at these amazing graphics! Just. By the way, is it just me, or does or does the water literally have like two frames of animation? Look at this. Yeah, it has like two frames of animation. I don't know. That's what it looks like. In fact, if it wants to have like. If anyone remembers Samari, it reminds me of like the title screen from that game, where like the title screen was like four frames of animation, and they look like shit. I mean, well, okay, they didn't look like shit for the NES, but still. I mean, this. I wonder if I could drive off the map actually. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Look at that! Look at these graphics. Look at look how face through this building. Amazing camera. Yeah, well, I guess not. I guess it's just an invisible wall there. So they at least... This game is one level above big rigs, because at least you can't drive off the map. Let's just ram into a bunch of cars while I'm here. What's up with these lanes? First lane switching lanes. <laughs> yeah, if only it was Friday, but uh, of course it isn't. I love the song. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, okay, it just ends. What's over here? An invisible wall slipping in your bed. Who are you gonna call? Phoenix Games. Oh, I've never heard this song. Let's listen to this. Just run that one sample for the whole thing. Okay, you know what the, you know what this sounds like? This sounds like the kind of music you again like Worms Armageddon almost. Kind of makes me want to go play that game actually. Let's drive into a bus. I miss the bus. I miss the bus. <laughs> Oh, take this delivery! Let's see what I did to that. Look at this truck killer. There's some really funny glitches you can do in this one. I've seen. Let's let's try driving into this tree. I mean, literally. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep, yo, I'm just gonna keep doing this, okay, stop the actual game, I'm just gonna do this because it's more fun. Wow, wow. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> I like how the bottom of the car is reflections, even though it makes zero sense. Oh. Let's try doing it at full speed, actually. I mean, I would upgrade the I would upgrade the engine if I had the mini. In fact, so let's do. I'm gonna do one more mission, and then I'm gonna upgrade the car, and then see what I can do with it. Oh god, I have ten seconds. I think I'm gonna do this. Seriously, why'd they give you like 10 seconds to do a mission? That makes no sense. Yeah, I didn't get anything because the game didn't give me any time to actually do it. So yeah, good job on that. We yeah, made like Like not even crazy tax like even if you're like running low on time crazy taxi, it's ever that strict to make you like you know, beat the mission that quickly. Oh, but I don't want Wait, did I seriously lose money for like failing the last mission? Cause I thought I had four hundred and seventy something pounds, so maybe it's just the maybe it's just like the font, I guess. Cause that looks like a seven to me. I like I get four pounds for the time bonus, even though I had like ten seconds. So yeah, good job on that one. Okay, where's the repair shop? Cause apparently there's there was like a repair shop around here. I don't know where it is. 
Also, is this meant to be tr Trafalgar Square, I guess? I guess so. Okay, well, that's delivery thing. Yep, <laughs> 10 seconds to do this entire mission. Because, you know. Oh. Well, I'm lost. Wait, what? Wait, did I get like a hundred pound from that? Even though, like it said, I got thirteen pound, and it seemed like I got like eighty or something like that. So yeah, let's let's uh <laughs> the GTA Four swing set. I got twenty one seconds to flow. I got twenty one seconds to go. Cause if you let me, let me know, let me in the studio I got 21 seconds before I got to go Did you see me in the video? Oh no Did you see me in the video? Oh no So if you let me, let me know, let me in the studio I got 21 seconds before I got to go 21 seconds to, to, to 21 seconds to, to, to 21 seconds to, to, to 21 seconds to, to Mega Man up first 21 seconds, no shit I ain't got the time to smoke this, salt this, yo G, go by in a black dot DT, make a man can be too get easy, seeing souls have if you wanna jet me, jet me, say come step to me, oh wait, I'm turning the wrong way, I'm trying to see if I can, cause I know the garage is somewhere on this map, and I'm sure it was like, one of the, no, I didn't want to do that, great, so because I drove in like, you know, half a mile of that arrow, it forced me to do missions, so that's great. I, I really appreciate that game. At least it actually gives me a decent amount of time to do it, so I suppose I'll give credit for that. <laughs> $31 billion would be cool. This almost sounds like demo music that you get on like. Okay, let's. Okay, tech next right. At least I could check the map at any time, so I suppose I gotta give the game credit for that. Just cause Crazy Taxi didn't. Like, legitimately, Crazy Taxi didn't have that, like, anywhere. So I suppose if I can give the game credit for one thing, at least there's that, I guess. I pay the guy who worked on the music for this game, because he really should be doing much, you know. I mean, surely he could work for someone much better than, you know, Bingo. So, yeah, again. <laughs> so, again, I got, like, 50, like, 150 pounds. Read the enclosed instruction book. Well, see, the problem is, uh, this is actually a copied version of the game. This isn't actually the real version, so I suppose I can't complain too much there. You know. Seriously, where is the repair shop? Uh, we need a repair shop, even though it's not actually for repairs, it's just for blind shit. So I have, what, £777? Lucky number 11. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Totally going the wrong way. Is that stretch texture I see over there? Wow, look at that. Look at that! Wait, no, I don't want the camera to go like that. I want to... Just look at that texture. That's, that's amazing. It really is amazing. <laughs> I like I always have a rating of 9 somehow. Uh, wait, I missed the repair shop. Uh, no, the arrow is not the repair shop. The arrows are actually just the, um... The, what is it? Yeah, they are not repair shops. They are just... They are literally the customers. Believe it or not. In fact, let me do this one here. Let's see, let's see, how, let's see how this works. Oh. Oh! the best. This is the best game.
So this game is like five songs, I guess, like at most. So let's, let's just keep driving down this road. Yeah, this road that is totally London and not, you know. Like, have these people ever even seen London? I mean, I don't even live in London, and I'm pretty certain London is nothing like this. And what is with the blue fog? Like, the PS2, I mean, sure, it's limited comparatively today. I mean, I'm pretty sure the PS2 isn't this limited with graphics. Oh, one of the spots out of wrench. Yeah. Okay, I didn't spot that. I mean, I know what the repair shop looks like, it's just I did not see that earlier. So I thought was on about the arrows, so, uh, yeah. Oh, let me do this. <laughs> this is the best part of the game, just doing this. Let's draw through this. Oh! 10 out of 10. Still better programming than Pro Skater 5, but, uh, it's not really the same much, is it? Oh, wait. What the hell's this? I come every time you turn around my London, London Bridge, wanna go down. <laughs> Probably because it was programmed by Phoenix Games. The repair shop is in one of the circle areas. Well, I will go to the circle areas right here. Oh, wow. Did, did it seriously just, like, ping off the other car? What the hell's up with that? Let's see what's over here. Oh! <laughs> Amazing. Look at this. I'm not sure if the if the disc just stopped reading the, the different areas, or if it is really supposed to. Oh, but they were loaded it. Oh, well, I can't go through there. I also love how 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 the uh, the ground awkwardly cuts off right there. You know, even though it's supposed to be you know a fade effect. It looks completely terrible, like, ooh, I could drive over that bit of nothingness, which still looks great. Where's all the music? Okay, I think there's a circle bit over here. Roundabout. Okay, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, this came- oh, wait, I found it. Nice. Uh, oh wow, can afford the sport engine. Should I get the sport engine or should I get one of the other things? Because I'm not sure what the other things would change. We have the suspensions, we have tires. I don't think those are really going to help. I could buy cars, but the thing is, <laughs> the cars cost like 10,000 wait pounds. Wait, so apparently this this system makes no sense. Because you know it's like £771, but the prices for the actual things are in pence. So to buy a sport engine costs £7.50 apparently. So theoretically I could just buy all the stuff anyway. But uh, yeah. Let's just go for the sport engine, let's see... <laughs> let's see if that changes anything. I got £21 to flow. Well, the car's definitely going slightly faster I think. Maybe. Yeah, this is definitely going faster. Let's try and drive into this wall. Or not. I might quit this soon. I think I might do one more fare and then just mess around for a bit. Or at least get my my uh, rating into the double digits, whatever significance that has. Oh. Well, at least this one actually gives me a decent amount of time to beat it. Over two minutes. I imagine it would, you, you could travel from one map. <sighs> trying to talk. I can imagine you could travel from one end of the map to the other in less than two minutes. I also love how all the cars are driving on... Like, they drive on both lanes. You know. Whenever there's multiple lanes on one side of the road. Yeah, the programs are lazy and use the PS the pound symbol. Well, the thing is, like, they use the pound symbol, but they also use the letter P. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, if you use the pound symbol on one part, why can't you use it for, like, everything? Okay, it's not that hard. You know, and surely for a game that's supposed to be based in Britain, you would think that everything would be in pounds. I mean, you know, the cars at least drive on the left side of the road. You would think they'd be able to get that much right. I also like how the, uh, 
<laughs> the arrow just disappears into the building right, right there. Oh, here we go. So I'm bonus. Let's see what it is. 32 pay. Okay, so let's see how much money I got. Yep, that's definitely a lot more than I was supposed to get. <laughs> Yay. Okay, well I think I might be done with this in a little bit. Let's see what happens if I try driving into the buildings actually. Wait, does that say parking? Park. What does that say? I'm gonna see if I can get a better angle. What's that? Let's see. <laughs> wait! Wait, sorry. Pricting copying. I swear to God, that's a K. Pricting. That's 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 amazing. You know, this game it's a 10 out of 10. Prize? I have no idea. Let's let's do this. It, it seems to take longer to slow down actually. Now that I've got the better engine. I don't know, maybe it says printing, but to me it looks like it says pricting. Oh wow, nice little... Uh, wait, look at this. Let's see if I can get into the, uh, the right angle for it to like stay like that. Because you know how it like, flickers purple every now and then? Look at that. Seems like if I jimmy myself around here, does it? Yeah, it. it... <sighs> see what I could do right here. This is the most fun I've had with the game. It's just like messing around with the physics. Also, it seems like the only part of my car that actually exists physically is the wheels, because the uh, you know I can drive my the car body through this and nothing happens. Okay. Well, the London phone boxes, so that's something, I guess. Does that say look look right? Great. Does it say that on the London ones? Because I don't see those you know, where I live, so I don't know. Maybe it does. I guess I'll find out soon enough, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna see if I could drive off the map. Oh, wow! And now I'm in a fair. Great. <laughs> Let's see, let's see how quickly I can do this. Let's see how much more money I get than I'm supposed to. Because this game is so bad that I can't even, you know, add correctly. Like, literally, the programmers of this game are so bad they can't even add stuff properly. Which surely is one of the most basic things to do as a programmer. I, I would assume. Let's do that prick -ting. Kevin McClough. Maybe, maybe they did just take the music from Incompetech. I don't know. Uh... Okay, let's go this way, I guess. So, yeah, like, this is, like, the only part of the city that's in remotely like London. Because it's, like... Oh, wait, I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. Because I think the other way goes, like... is like, the wrong way, I think. Also, the timer doesn't seem to go down when I look at the map. So, I'm going to go on the bridge... I don't even know what bridge this is meant to be, but, uh, yeah, it's a bridge. Yeah, who really cares? You know, London has bridges, I think. So, let's see. Oh. Actually, I wonder who did the music for this. I don't think there are any credits in the game, but I might check out. I might check afterwards, just to be sure. Wait, am I going the wrong... Oh. Sorry, I was, just, I was looking at the wrong point in the map. Never mind, that was my fault. So yeah, there, there are literally like five songs in this game. I'm pretty certain. But to be fair, like, the music is easily the best part of the game, because it's the only part that's competent. <laughs> the rest of this game is like... How does this even exist? You know? Wait, what? No! We're gonna do multiple parts? What the hell's this? 
the hell's going? Is this like some like submission that the game didn't actually bother to tell me about or something? Oh, I have no idea. I'm guessing it's just because I have like ten points now. It's like oh, we gotta up the ante, I guess. Wow. Wow. Oh. Wait, next turn. Take me to Blackfriars Road, okay. Someone tells me that's not a real road in London, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I did it. And I only got one point, so great. Is this the repair place? I don't know. So I, I now have... Yeah, I now have 11 points, somehow. But yeah, I think we'll quit this soon and play someone else, but um, I have 700 pounds. So I could go for both the tires and the transmissions. Well, we gotta go for speed acceleration, whatever that means. And the tires. Oh, well the car definitely controls slightly better now. Like, it's now gone from being completely terrible to being slightly less completely terrible. <laughs> Grafton Street. Oh, I wonder, is Grafton Street even in this game? I mean, it's not Northampton, so I guess not, but you know. Go to Grafton Street if you want to get hold. Oh, wow. You know, see that nice little bit of glitching right there? Let's see. What does this guy say? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check here and then I'm going to... Oh, Victoria Street. Well, that's just boring. But, oh, wow. Nice, uh... I think I'm just going to end it right here. Like, look at this. Just that. That just sums up the whole game. <laughs>